squad how is everyone doing today and welcome back to another vlog so today it is tuesday i was gonna say monday but tuesday yesterday was easter monday and today tuesday i thought i would vlog eating my dinner i know i haven't done this in a long long time so i figured let's do this tonight so tonight's dinner is some fish some corn some fries and cucumbers i haven't done this in a while maybe we'll do this you guys can see my plate a little bit better so we got some cucumbers mm. one thing i do i know it's kind of strange but to put a french fry on a cucumber <laughs> Hmm. The saltiness of the french fries works great with uh, cucumbers. Another one. <laughs> this fish is a highliner. It's the one that I really like. I bought it from a superstore the other day. It was on sale for $7.99 so you can't beat that right that's a phenomenal deal I know I'm weird I put ketchup on fish I know I'm weird <laughs> hmm. so I'm kind of wanting to do a little work in the studio my new studio upstairs is where I edit but I'm down here, I normally film all my videos now. We had our basement redone a few months ago, so I thought, let's kind of make this basement into a filming studio. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I wanna do a little work. I wanna get some lighting, like I have on my ring light right here. I want to do a lot of things. Make the studio a really good, you know, studio to make quiet down here. So that really what helps is with the filming is the quietness. Because if it's quiet, it's good for my videos. A little bit more ketchup. Hmm. That fish is so flaky. When people ask me if I eat fish, actual like fresh fish, I reply no. I only eat the fish in the box. <laughs> people start laughing when I say that. But it's true. I think the main reason is because growing up, we didn't really eat a lot of fish. So I think that's why I don't really like fresh fish. So let's talk about Easter. If I can get this cucumber apart. But let's talk about Easter. So I had my family over on Good Friday. And I had my in-laws on Sunday. You guys probably have seen the post I posted on on Instagram and it was just like a personal vent like I, I was venting I don't really like venting much on my personal Instagram but something did occur on my in-laws that I wanted to kind of get off my chest I mean, I think it's like everyone, everyone has problems with their in-laws. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. So, overall dinner was really good. We kind of changed things up. Instead of actually doing your traditional Easter dinner, like with um, ham and turkey. I had turkey on Friday with my family. And with the in-laws, we thought, 
let's grill up some sausages and make like a barbecue. It was really good. So we end up having sausages, baked potato, and corn on the cob. Kind of felt like more like a uh, summer like dinner, but it was actually pretty good. It was a little cold, but it wasn't too cold. I normally do the cooking here, so when I went to my in-laws, it kind of felt good that I didn't need to do the cooking. <laughs> we just had that one kind of incident, but in overall, we all kind of had a good day. Great dinner. funny because I woke up Monday morning I woke up Monday morning with a, a scratchy throat I was thinking maybe it was uh allergies because I always get allergies for some reason this year my allergies has been really bad so I took an antihistamine kind of felt a little bit better last night I think what the problem with me, a lot of problem in the sinus. So that doesn't really do well with your throat. So I'm fine now. I mean, I do have a little runny nose. That's why I took another antihistamine today. But on Sunday, we were debating if we were going to do anything this year. Because I told you guys in Thursday's vlog that my... Someone in my in-laws was sick and we weren't sure if we were going to do anything. This person did end up going to the hospital. They did a lot of testing. Turned out she had tonsillitis. So apparently some medication they gave her made her non-contagious. So we just kind of proceeded with the dinner, which is fine, but... I'm not sure if now that I'm kind of thinking about it, my scratchy throat had anything to do with the in-laws being sick and maybe it, she was still contagious. Not sure. So definitely follow me on Instagram because I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated throughout this week. I'm kind of hoping that I don't get sick because last thing I need is getting sick again. Like last month was horrible. In the end of February, I got sick with, I don't know what I had. I'm very sorry that uh, the video cut off. I ran out of space on my phone. So, of course, I had to delete it and put it on my Mac, the vlog that I was filming. So, I don't even know what I was talking about. But... Almost done my dinner. So, so we all had a great Easter. We weren't thinking we were going to do anything with my in-laws. Because someone was sick. But they got better. And we did it. Mind you, it wasn't like a traditional Easter dinner. But it was still pretty good. So, yesterday, I made a Kool-Aid pie. And I think I did vlog it like a couple months ago when I made my first one. I think I made this one even better. I'm going to eat another piece on the vlog. Just to show you guys. The last one I made was with cherry. And this time, I made it with cherry as well. But I'm thinking, I wonder if it would taste better with a different flavor. So next time I'm going to go to the store, I'm going to see if I can find a different flavor of Kool-Aid and make another Kool-Aid pie with a different flavor. And I'll just report back to you guys, or maybe I'll just vlog it.
dinner is really good. I think fish is really good. The best highliner fish ever. So I'm just drinking this uh, water. It's like a liquid enhancer, like a little packet. I think it was like, if I'm not mistaken, it was, uh, I want to say Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it might not be Jolly Rancher. I think it is. Well, it was cherry. So let me know what you guys are having for dinner tonight on this Tuesday evening. What I like about this fish, it tastes so much like chicken. Couldn't even tell. Mm. I still can't get over that we're in April now. Feels like that. It feels like we're still in March. My birthday was like 11 days ago. It feels like it was just yesterday. And I kind of missed eating with you guys. I haven't done this in like, I think over a year and a half. It's been a while. I think it was like 2022. I think it was my last eating with you guys. So, figure 2024. I know it's not the starting of 2024, but let's start off April 2024 with eating with you guys. So that was dinner. That was really good. The fish is so flavorful. I'm not sure what type of spices that they use, but it's so good. It's so flavorful, flaky, tastes like chicken. Let's have some drink. So that was dinner. And I'm gonna try and vlog my dessert, which is a Kool-Aid pie. And I do wanna talk to you guys about something. If you guys remember, before I got sick, I was fasting. I was really doing really good at fasting. I was like continuously every day fasting. I think there had been like two or three times in the month of March or February that I did a 14, 15 hour fast, but it was still a fast. Well, after I had gotten sick, fasting just kind of went out of the window. So recently I started picking up on the fasting. Mind you, there had been days that I haven't fast 16 hours, but there's been times that I did. So I'm thinking in the month of April, I'm really going to put in everything to do a fast, 16 hour fast every single day. I think it really did work a lot back in February. I started back in January. January 22nd was my first day of fasting. And you guys all know, I was doing a lot of updates on the vlogs until I got sick and then that's where it kind of went out the window. I pushed myself too much to vlog and I do a lot of vlogs, filming, and I don't really always take care of myself to where I take care of myself first. I always put the vlog, I always put the reviews first before anything else. And I think I need to get myself somewhat of a break. So just to let you guys know, the vlogs might not be every day. I think I just kind of give myself a little break. I think I'll start doing weekly vlogs. I did that a lot back in 2018 and 2019. I did a lot of weekly vlogs and it was just my every day. And I just put in one giant vlog. And a lot of the vlogs were like 27 to 30 minutes. Sometimes it was 15 minutes, depending on how much I was vlogging in a day. Uh, I think that would probably suit me better than doing daily. I think the daily vlogs was just, it was a lot. I think doing daily vlogs and making sure that there's a vlog every day. And it was like, I had time for myself because I barely had any time for myself because I was just constantly always filming. So I think right now I'm gonna give myself a lot of break and maybe start weekly vlogs. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that's a good idea? 
I think weekly vlogs, you guys will be able to see everything in one week in one vlog. And it kind of gives you guys a general idea on exactly what I did, you know? Like, what did I do on that day? What did I do on this day? And sometimes if I can, I'll start doing daily vlogs, depending on, on how I feel. I think I'll just go based on how I feel at that moment. If I feel like that I wanna put out a vlog or at least show you guys something, then I'll do that. If not, then definitely go to my TikTok, my Instagram. I always try to post as much that I can there. I normally post every day on Instagram, so definitely follow me on Instagram and all my social media platforms. Uh, definitely don't always count on the YouTube. Definitely go to my social media as my other social media platforms. I definitely stay connected with you guys a lot more on there. So I think I'm going to bring my plate back up. We're going to figure some stuff out and then maybe we'll do dessert. So let's go. So I do hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. I'm not going to eat dessert because I already ate the dessert and it was really good. Just gonna end the vlog here. I do hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog with me eating with you guys. If you guys did, show your support, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely ring the bell notification so that way you never miss a vlog. Please consider following me on Instagram. That's where I'll let you guys know what's coming up next. I do wanna thank you guys very much for watching. Definitely share this vlog with your friends and family and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.